hello friends this is Supnil and welcome to learn SAP Abad. so in this session we will see how to create CDSV with the parameter or you can say how to create CDSV with the input parameter in the last video I have shown you how to create simple CDS view and how to use join on a CDS view okay if you didn't watch those video then you can click on the i button above or you can also find the link given in the description okay so today we will see how to create CDS view with the parameter okay if you are the first time in our channel then please subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon for next upcoming videos notification okay so stay tuned till the end and keep watching this video okay so let's go to the eclipse okay so i am in my eclipse so today we will see how to create the cds with the parameter okay so let's start this uh, right click in your package click on new and other repository object then in the search field type tdl and choose the data shows click on next then provide the name for your cds view we'll give the cds scores test param test param then description cds view with uh, parameter okay and just click on next okay so i'm saving the object in a local package and select after that select the transport uh, right now i'm so storing the program in a local package so no need to select any transport here just click on simply next okay so now we are going to use the cds with the parameter so just select the cd define cds view define view with the param and click on finish okay. as you finish then you can find some predefined code here over here okay as you can see here the sql beam name okay so we have to just uh, change the sql beam name so the name as a said you underscore this param okay P PO slash T four four five and IKK as A and join will use the two table P A P O slash T four four five L I K T as a B can see here with the parameter okay so now we have to define parameter over here just uh, defining one parameter uh, so we'll take the pa for the parameter we'll take one field so we'll define the p like number as a parameter this is the one of the field available in the table and we'll give the we'll declare the type here uh, what is the type the type of the parameter Okay, and here we will declare a type uh, type as SAP like number is a type for this particular parameter okay so B then give it on okay as a B on now here we need to write the joining condition so we we'll take the like ID as a Joining because like ID is a key field in both the table, so we'll take the like ID equal to b dot like ID. Okay, okay, so like ID is the key field in both the tables, so we are going to join this table based on this like ID. Okay, so now here we'll take the field from both the tables, so a dot let's uh, take here as uh, take as a description okay id id you can give any name or as per your choice 
Okay, no problem for it. Yeah. B uh, from B we will select uh, description as uh, giving the column name as a title and take the third. Sorry, B again will take. Sorry. Then B tab uh, here we will take this language field okay as a okay. the language okay. so now here we need to write as a where condition where uh, we are like number equal to to colon e sorry colon p underscore uh input like number like number okay uh, okay sorry number okay just save and activate if see if any error Okay. okay now we will run this uh, series view let's see what value we are getting uh, select about problem application okay give the like number so I have one like number from table number text okay okay so now you can okay so now you can see here we have a one interest from now you can see here we have one interest from this table okay so let's suppose uh, if you want to use the like number field also okay from this parameter so how you can write uh, if you want to include the like if you want to include the like number profile also in this uh, in this selected field so how you can add uh, so let me just display this can be the colon then p like num sorry like number as a then give some bracket here so, comma here okay. as a do heading as a like number like number okay we'll see and activate okay okay so now you can see uh, there is no any error okay so you can write the parameter like this uh, or you can use some alternate way also you can write in a second way like this this uh, colon then you can write uh, using the other yeah, so you can write in so you can write in another way like uh, dollars then parameter then dot and name of your parameter like number okay we'll check we'll syntax check and activate okay so now you can see here there is no any uh, error okay so now we will execute this once again you see the output put the like number which i have copied from the table click okay okay so now as you can see here one more column is added which is a like number okay so this like number we are passing from the, from the parameter now you have learned how to create series view with the input parameter i have also uploaded content on my blog related to step by step procedure to create a series view with the input parameter okay you can find the link is also, is also given in the description so if you like this video then press the like button below if you have any doubt then write me in a comment section below if you want to learn more about a app then visit to my website that is www.learnsapiabapp.com and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get notification about upcoming videos okay so friends bye signing out